welcome back to this video session. I remain Samuel Jamaica, aka Samuel Otis. Okay, uh, in this video session, we shall look at uh, finding determinants of 3 by 3 matrices and 4 by 4 matrices. Uh, please, this is the determinants part 2 which means that we have part 1 already. In part 1, we discussed the concept of determinants. Uh, we discussed that in details. And we also uh, found determinants of 2 by 2 matrices. Uh, it is highly recommended that uh, you view the videos in the list, in the playlist. All the videos in the playlist, you need to view those before you view this one. So, uh, if we can uh, uh, continue from where we start, uh, in this case, assuming we have an A, say that A, uh, say matrix A is a 3 by 3 matrix, okay, uh, and that is a, the elements are A11, A12, a13, a21, a22, a23 by row, a31, a32, a33. Okay, so we now have that uh, we said in the previous video that that A, we said in the previous video that that A could be A11 times C11 plus A12 times C12 plus A13 times C13 or uh, it could be uh, A21 times C21 plus A22 times C22 plus A23 times C23 or it could be a31 times C31 plus A32 times C32 plus A33 times C33. Okay, so uh, in, in the previous video we found the cofactors. Now, uh, we, that, that was 2 by 2 matrix. Now we have to find the cofactors of this 3 by 3 matrix. And remember, the factors are sine minus, just like we talked about the other time in the previous video. So we can go ahead and uh, find the cofactors of all these. Okay, we can go ahead and find it. So uh, if we want to find the C11, because this is a 1 plus 1, remember the factors are sine minus. Okay, uh, instead of coming down to start finding the minus. You know, I, I want to go straight ahead to the cofactors. So 1 plus 1 is uh, 2 plus. Now, if you have this for the A11, you know, this we discussed all this in the previous video. So if we delete this and this, we now have determinant. So this is plus determinant A22, A32, uh, A23, A33. That is our C11. And our C12 will be 1 plus 2 is 3 minus determinant. Uh, that will be what? A21, A31, uh, uh, A23, A33. Our C13 will be plus determinant. Uh, a21, a31, uh, a22, a32. Our C21. So this is for the first row. If we are going to take the second row, our C21 will be 2 plus 1 is 3. So that's going to be minus determinant. Uh, a12, A13, A32, A33. Our 
right? C21, you know, with C21, it's going to be here and here. It's going to, if I use this here long, it will be here and here. And this will be A12, A13, A32, A33. Our C22 will be, 2 plus 2 is 4, so that is plus determinant uh, A11, uh, A31, uh, A13, and A33. Okay, let's complete the rest of it. Then our C32. Now you can use any of the rows, okay? You can use any of the rows, whether it's row 1 or row 2 or row 3. It does not matter. You can do that. Uh, our C23 will be minus determinant. Uh, C23. Okay, this is uh, A11, A31, uh, A12, A32. C23, A11, A12, A31, A32. Okay, that is the first row, this is the second row. Now let's look at the third row. Our C31 will be plus, because 3 plus 1 is 4. It will be A12, A31, A22, A13, A23. Our C32 will be 3 plus 2 is 5, so minus determinant. Uh, um, A11, A21, uh, A13, and A23. Okay? The C33 will be plus, because 3 plus 3 is 6, determinant, what? Uh, A11, A21, uh, A12, and A22. Okay, so that is the, uh, the factors, and we just multiply A11 times C11, plus A12 times C12, plus A13 times C13, or the second row, A21 times C21, and the rest of them. So, uh, that is the way we see. So, you see, one thing now about the 3x3 uh, three three matrix is you have to, when you now, after find the minor will be a 2x2. Two two. You, you understand what I'm saying? And uh, you know, for, the, for a 2x2 two two matrix, the minor is just an element. Okay, that is what you should note. Uh, note, note this. Note this. Note. Uh, for, for a 2 by 2, for a, uh, for a 2 by 2 matrix, minor is, okay, this is just an element, an element. For a 3 by 3 matrix, The minor will be uh, determinant of determinant of two by two matrix. Determinant of two by two matrix. And then for this video, we shall do a four by four matrix. And I'm not gonna scare you away, okay? So I, I will just stop at four by four. Don't be scared, okay? It's gonna be easy. We will work it together. And for a four by four matrix. For, now I did a four by four matrix because I see I saw that in your textbook. So uh, the minor will be the determinant of a three by three. Okay, the minor will be the uh, determinant determinant of a three by three matrix. So this is kind of from what we observe. Yeah, from what we observe. All right, folks. Let's now start solving problems. Okay? So I'm going to erase all this. 
Uh, as usual, for the first question, uh, we shall solve it. Uh, I'm going to solve it with uh, the three rows. I mean, I'll solve it with all the rows. But after the first question, please, I'm not going to solve it with all the rows. I'll just select the easiest row, okay? So that the video will not be long. All right. The first question, find if the matrix A is a 3 by 3 matrix. This is a 2, 0 by column, 2, 0, 1. Negative 3, 0, negative 2. Uh, negative 4, negative 1, 1. All right, so if you look at this now, just looking at this now, look at it. And you know the formula of uh, the determinant of the matrix, A11C11 plus A12C12 plus A13C13 or A21C1, C21 plus A22C22 plus A23C23 or the third one, A31C31 plus A32C32 plus A33C33. Which row do you think is easiest to choose? So you don't waste time. Okay, you look at the row that first of all has zeros. If that row has zeros, please use it. Because zero times anything will be zero. Saves you time. Okay? Now, if it doesn't have zero, you try to choose the smallest elements, like one. You know, you try to see if there are rows that have one. And you choose those. Okay? Uh, but for, I'm going to solve it, to prove to you, I'm going to solve it with, uh, I'm going to solve it with the three rows. I'll solve it with the three rows so that you can see that we'll get the same answer. And for the rest of the, uh, for the remaining questions, I will just solve it with the easiest row. Okay, so let's solve it with row one. If I have row one, I'm gonna row one. Uh, that A will be A11 times C11 plus A12 times C12 plus a13 times C13. So our A11 is what? 2. You see that right now. Two. Okay, now let's find our C11. Our C11, remember, 1 plus 1 is plus. You know, and uh, some textbooks, uh, you know, they simplify things, so they just write this. Uh, just like we wrote the other time, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Minus, uh, plus, minus, plus. For the signs, signs. Okay, signs used in cofactors. Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to use this for the other questions. Uh, for this question, I'm going to just solve it exactly from, you know, from the definition. Uh, this is 1 plus 1, which is 2, which is plus. We don't need to put the plus anymore. Uh, that's the first plus you see here, plus. So the terminal of what? Uh, if you do this, bam, bam, so you have 0, negative 2, negative 1, 1. And uh, this gives you what? Uh, this gives you uh, that C11 one one is uh, 0 times 1 is 0, minus, minus 2 times minus 1 is 2. Okay? You see, I skip steps now. Because I expect you, as you saw, to be able to master it. Okay? 0 times 1 is 0 minus. Minus 2 times minus 1 is 2. So, C11 one one is negative 2. So, let me go ahead and start circling this stuff. Because I'm going to use it. Okay? Let me start circling this. Because I'll use it. Okay, now, A12. I got my A12 is negative 3. Then, C12 will be minus because 1 plus 2 is 3 so minus uh, bam bam and this will be 0 1 uh, negative 1 1 so that's gonna be what c12 will be minus uh, you can put your parentheses here uh, 0 because you have a minus just put parentheses in case 
0 times 1 is 0, minus 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. So C12 will be minus 0 plus 1. So C12 will be minus 1. Or negative 1, whichever. Okay? So that is uh, that. Then the last, the next one we go is A13. A13 is a negative 4. Okay? So C13 will be 1 plus 3 is 4. That is the plus you see here. And that is that the term is plus. So we don't need to come and start putting plus. Okay? So the terminal of what? Uh, 0, 1, 0, negative 2. And C13 will now be 0 times negative 2 is 0, minus 1 times 0 is 0. C13 is what? 0. So I got this guy and this guy. So if you look at this now, my determinant A, my that A from row 1, from row 1, my that A will be uh, 2 times negative 2, okay, 2 times negative 2, plus uh, negative 3 times negative 1, plus negative 4 times 0. So this will now be equal to 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus negative 3 times negative 1 is 3, okay, plus negative 4 times 0 is 0. So negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Yeah. And please, I, it's very important that you learn the technology aspect of this. Uh, you view my videos on Excel on solving determinants and also on using uh, other calculators on my website you know, doing determinants just to check your work, you know, to check whether you got this answer right. Put this in Excel, Microsoft Excel. So view my videos on that and then uh, using other websites to using the calculators on my website. I have some uh, links to matrix calculators on my website that will solve these correctly. Okay, so just to check it. All right, uh, let's do row two. Let's do row two right away. So row two, I'll just change this to two. I change this to one, two, one, two. Sorry, not one, two, two, one. So let me just erase all this. For row two, and you see row two is pretty, pretty much the easiest because that has zero. I'm gonna show you how to after this example one, the other examples you will see how easy we have to solve this. Uh, so this is a a two one times c two one plus a two two times c two two plus a two three times c two three. Now we are supposed to get the same answer. We we all get the same answer. Uh, A two one is what zero. So uh, C two one, you really don't need to do C two one because zero times that will even give you zero. But let me just go ahead and do it. Uh, two plus one is three, so this is minus determinant. Uh, C two one will be uh, negative three negative 2, and negative 4, and 1. So C21 will be minus, put parenthesis, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, then minus, negative 2 times negative 4 is 8. So C21 will be minus, negative 11. So C21 minus minus 11 is 11. So A21 is 0, C21 11. All right. Now let's do uh, let, let's do a to two. A to two is what zero again. C to two will be plus right, which is now determinant uh, two one uh, negative four one. Right. So this will be that C two two is 
2 times 1 is what? 2 minus 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. So C22 will be 2 plus 4, right? Minus 8. Just checking to make sure. So 2 plus 4, which is the C22, will be 6. 6. Then the, uh, the next one for row 2, uh, A23 is negative 4. So let's find the C23. C23, 2 plus 3 is minus, uh, is 5, odd number. So minus uh, determinant uh, 2, 1, Negative 3, negative 2. Okay, 2, 1, negative 2, negative 2. So that is what now? C23 will be negative, parenthesis, uh, negative 4 minus uh, negative 3. 1 times negative 3, negative 3. So C23 will be minus negative 4 plus 3. So C23 will be minus uh, negative 1. And C23 will be 1. Okay? Negative 4 plus 3, negative 1. And then C23 will be uh, 1. Let's make sure we got it right. Uh, this will be uh, 2, 1, negative 3, negative 2. So this is a negative 4 minus negative 3. So negative 4 plus 3 is uh, negative 4 plus 3 is a negative 1. Now, but a to 3, a to 3 is not negative 4. a to 3 is negative 1. Yeah. A to 3 is negative 1. So it's good to, when you're doing this thing, to kind of make sure you check well. Okay, double check. And then C23 is 1. It's good to double check. To double check, to make sure that you're right. Okay, so for row 2, for row 2, we'll see that our uh, determinant A will be what now? Because this is A23, negative 1. So the determinant A will be 0 times 11 plus a22 times C22, 0 times 6 plus uh, A23 negative 1 times 1. So this will give you what now? It will give you 0 plus 0 plus negative 1, which is 0 minus 1, which is minus 1, so negative 1. So you see, negative 1 was what we got for row 1. Negative 1 was what we got for row 1. And negative 1 is also what we got if we use row 2, you know. But with row 2, it's, it's just easier. You just do this right away. Okay, now let's go to row 3. Let's do row 3. Um, for row 3, we still follow the same procedure. So row 3 will be A31 times C31 plus A32 times C32 plus A33 times C33. Okay, so now this will be, uh, we begin, A31 is 1. Now, let's go ahead and find a... Uh, C31. C31 will be 3 plus 1 is 4. That's the plus you see there. Determinant, uh, it will be negative 3, 0, and negative 4, negative 1. So C31 will be negative 3 times negative 1 is 3, minus 0 times negative 4 is 0. So C31 is 3. 
is a 3 1 is 3. Then we have a 3 2. a 3 2 is negative 2. I separate. Now we find c 3 2. c 3 2, 3 plus 2 is what? 5. So that's negative. The negative you see here, negative. Determinant. Uh, this, this, 2, 0, uh, negative 4, negative 1. Okay? And that will give you that C32 is negative, put parentheses. 2 times negative 1 is what? Negative 2 minus 0 times negative 4 is 0. So C32 will be negative, uh, negative 2 times minus 0 is negative 2. So C32 will be negative negative 2 is 2. So C32 is 2. C32 is 2. Okay, then the next one, A33. A33 is 1. I wrote A23 as negative 4 before because I was looking at A13. Don't mind me. So A33 is 1, okay? Just you have to be careful. When you're solving this, you have to be relaxed. Stop thinking about other stuff. Focus on this. Relax. I don't drink beer when drinking this. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't drink beer when solving it. Um, let's find C33. So C33 will be 3 plus 3 is 6, which is positive. So, uh, determinant 1, uh, this, this, 2, 0, negative 3, 0. Okay? I always want to double check to see whether you got you uh, 2, 0, negative 4, negative 1, and 2, 0, negative 3, 0. I want to double check to make sure you got everything right. So, C3, 3 will be uh, 2 times 0 is 0, minus 0 times negative 3 is 0. C33 is 0. Alright, folks. Now let's find with row 3. Let's find the 3. So with row 3, excuse me. We have a A31 is 1 times 3 plus negative 2 times 2 plus 1 times 0. So this will be equal to 3 plus negative 4 plus 0. And that is 3 minus 4, and that is negative 1. So whether row 1, row 2, row 3, it does not matter. Okay? It will all give you the same determinant. All right. So, for the rest of the questions, we will just look at which row is easiest to use, okay? So, you see, but in this case, this is the row that I would use. And I will not bother about all this. I will bother only about this. That this will be negative, negative 1, determinant. You see, if I'm just solving this, I, know, I come here, I know that this will be minus, okay? So, for the third one, so this will be negative, negative 1. Negative is that minus there, and then negative one here, determinant. I just come and cross out this right away, and this will be two, one, negative three, negative two. And this is it. Negative, negative one is one. One times uh, negative four minus negative three. So this is now negative four plus three. That's a negative one right away. Wasting time. Okay, let's now solve uh, other ones and then. Uh, if you have any question, please feel free to ask, 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 ask. I, 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 I am going to leave this uh, sign because it will be useful, very useful. So I'll leave this sign. It's going to be useful. So B, uh, is matrix B is 1, 4, negative 1, 
2, 3, negative 2 by row, negative 1, 2, 3. Find the terminal of B. So what row do you think we should use here? What row? Row 1 or row 2 or row 3? I, I will use row, row 1 because if, if there's no zeros in the rows, <coughs> then use the one that has 1. one. You know, this is 1 and this is negative 1. So I'll just use row 1. And my row 1 is plus minus plus. So what I will do is this, okay? I'm not, I'm not going to waste time in finding it. The determinant B will be plus 1. I know it's 1 here. Determinant. Okay? Just come here. Bam, bam. Here. So what do I have here? I have a 3, 2, negative 2, 3. Then minus, minus is this minus here, 4, 4 is this one here, okay? Minus is that minus right here, 4 is this 4 here. Uh, I come again, bam, bam, and that will be 2, negative 1, negative 2, 3. And if you will get confused on this, you can use another marker, you know? I can actually use another marker. Kind of do it. Bam, bam. And I know it's 2, negative 1, negative 2, 3. Then the next one is plus. Now, but this is a negative 1. So be careful here, okay? This is negative 1 right here. Okay? Remember, it's negative 1. So this is plus here. So this is plus, negative 1. Determinant. Uh, I can use a. Uh, Yellow marker this time. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> so that would be two, negative one, three, two. And after doing this, you want to check it again. You know, uh, you wanna, you don't want to make any mistakes. You want to look at it again to make sure that you are correct. Remember, the signs are just the cofactors to make sure that we are correct okay so far I think everything looks fine so far I think everything looks fine so this will not be what now so one I mean I could care less about it because one times anything is that thing three times three is what nine minus two times negative two is negative four then minus just this, just put minus, okay? Minus 4. I can put my parentheses because 4 is going to multiply that, right? So, uh, remember this is minus 4, that. Then 2 times 3 is what? 6 minus. Uh, minus 1 times minus 2 is 2. Okay? Plus uh, negative 1 times, now this is negative 1, so, I, so I, I, I need to put it. Uh, if this will confuse you, you just go ahead and put 1. Later on, you can, you, can, uh, you can break it up. You can simplify. Okay? So negative 1, 2 times 2 is what? 4 minus, minus 1 times 3 is minus 3. Some of you will not do it this way. Some of you are very good at mental math. So do it your way that you prefer. Okay, so this will be uh, 1 times uh, 9 plus 4, 9 plus 4, 1 times 9 plus 4, minus 4 times what? 6 minus 2 is 4. Okay? Plus minus 1, you know, minus 1 times 4 plus 3. So this will be 13 minus 16, right? Minus 1 times 7. So this will be 13 minus 16 minus 7. 13 minus 16 is what? Uh, minus 3 minus 7. This is minus 10. And this becomes your answer. Minus 10. Okay? That becomes your answer. Minus 10. Alright. And like I said, you can check it with Excel. You can check it with a TI-84, 
the TIA default link is on my uh, the tutorials is also on my website. You can check it with the uh, other matrix calculators on my website. All right, now let's go ahead and do the next one. We have two more. Two more to do. Two more to do. Two more to do. Now, if you use, if you want to also check it, you can check it with another row, another row. Okay. So you can double check it again with another row. That's fine. All right. C. Matrix C is uh, one negative three seventeen. One negative one seven. Two negative five. 29. All right. Uh, what, what what row do we think we should use? What row? Row one, two, three. I will go with uh, row two because I have one and negative one. So this will be if I'm using row two, I look at that sign minus comes first. So this is minus one determinant. Bam bam. I might have negative 3, 17, negative 5, 29. Then I have plus here in the middle. So this is plus negative 1. Bam. 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 <laughs> that would be 1, 17. Uh, and 2, 29. Okay, then minus here. Minus 7 here. Bam, bam. <laughs> Do you like the bam? <laughs> Minus seven. Okay, that would be one, uh, two, uh, minus three, minus five. Okay. So let's finish this stuff up. This will be negative one parenthesis. Negative 3 times 29 would be what? Negative. 3 times 9 is 27. 7 carry 2. 3 times 2 6. Plus 2, 8. Right? Then minus 5, uh, minus negative 5 times 17 is negative 85. Okay? Then plus minus is minus 1. Parenthesis. 1 times 29 is 29 minus 2 times 17 is 34. Then minus 7. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. Minus 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So this will be negative 1 minus 87 plus 85 minus 1. Uh, 29 minus 34 is what? Minus 1, 5. Right? You have 29, you go 34. That means you go 5. Minus 7, minus 5, plus 6. So this will be minus 1, uh, minus 2, because uh, minus 87 plus 85 is minus 2. Then minus 1 times minus 5 is plus 5. Then minus 7 times 1. Because minus 5 plus 6 is uh, 1. Okay? So this will be uh, minus 1 times minus 2 is 2 plus 5 minus 7. And that is 7 minus 7, which is 0. This is a, uh, what, what do we call a matrix whose determinant is 0? C, matrix C is a singular matrix. Matrix C is singular matrix. It is a singular matrix because the determinant is zero. Okay, uh, last but not the least, four by four. Come on. Come on, Mr. C. Come on. Come on, son. Don't for peace. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Homie, come on. Okay. Uh, we have a matrix D. Matrix D is a 4 by 4, uh, 8, 0, 5, 1. <laughs> then it is a simple 4 by 4, you will see. Then uh, 0, 3, 4, 
negative 2, and 2, 6, 3, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 0. <laughs> Look at this. Come on. Now, you don't need somebody to tell you what row you should use, do you? Do you need somebody to tell you what row you should use for this? Tell me, do you need? No, you don't. But we shall still do some work though. We shall still do some work because <laughs> I know that we are spared this. We are kind of spared this, but this will still get us a minor of 3 by 3. So it's like we will still do 3 by 3 again. But anyway, let's go ahead and we have to change this sign now. We've got to change this sign because that is now 4. Alright? So if we change the sign, uh, you know what, eh? Let me keep this sign. Yeah. Let me just keep this sign as it is. And then uh, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus. This is 3 by 3. Let's write the 4 by 4 here. The 4 by 4 will be what? Uh, plus, minus, plus, minus. Because this is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. Okay, then minus, plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, plus. Okay, uh, uh, we, we just, we don't want to waste time. Uh, this will be, uh, that D, determinant D, will be, uh, uh, ne this is negative, we are using this row. So negative, negative 1, negative, negative 1. Determinant. Okay. Pam, 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 pam. That would be 0, 3, 6, uh, 5, 4, 3, uh, 1, negative 2, 0. Again, you can do this with Excel. And I'm not going to waste my time on all this because it means you waste my time. So, uh, minus, minus 1 is 1. Okay, so this is like saying, this is like doing the terminal of this 3 by 3. 0, 5, 1, uh, 3, 4, negative 2, and uh, 6, 3, 0. That is this, like doing this. Okay, so uh, we are back on this now. Still determinant D. Which row do we use? Which row? If you ask, which row should you use? You can use row 1 or row 3, whichever one. <coughs> Okay, uh, so as we use row 1, let's use row 1. That will give us now, uh, now if we, this is plus 0, we don't mind it. Uh, this is minus 5, okay, minus 5, determinant. Uh, bam, bam. That will give us 26 minus 2, 0. Mm. Then, uh, plus one, plus one, determinant, bam, bam, three, six, four, three. Okay? Three, six, three, six, four, three, by column. So this will now be what? Negative five, parenthesis, three times zero is zero, minus, uh, six times negative two is negative twelve, then plus one, uh, 3 times 3 is 9 minus 6 times 4 is 24. Okay, so this will now be what now? Negative 5 times 0 plus 12 plus 1 times uh, 9 minus 24 will give us 9 minus 24 is what? Negative 15. Okay? Right? Comprende? Uh, uh, so we go ahead and finish this. What would this give us now? Um, what would this give us? This would be what now? Negative 5. Let me kind of draw something here. So from here, from here this would be negative 5 times 12 plus 1 times negative 15 is negative 15. Okay? So
So this would negative 5 times 12 is a negative 16 plus negative 15, which is negative 16 minus 15, which will give you negative 75. So the determinant is minus 75. Uh, we have come to the end of this presentation. If you have any questions, please take on